Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at the seam. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. Get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. We shouldn't leave without talking to the witch. Nobody's home. I can feel it. They flock to that great tree up there. The banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must... What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers, only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her. For me. You're too late, old moss head. As ever. Huh? 
for peace. I forgive you, old man. My soul. At last, boy. solo. Listen to your elders, child. I... 
Mossad is no more. He'll never drink from your skull now, will he? Another ancient promise broken. But what about me? How do I live now? You are all I ever had, and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. She took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be. Oh no. Hmm. Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots.
ever mention how good we are together? Yeah. It's always good to hear. become of Seiko now. She'll try to make sense of her pain. Or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. If she has regrets, she must tame them. Grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I had seen, I had done. I just wanted the pain to stop. I wanted oblivion. Your ghosts were killing you. They almost pushed you to insanity, but you pulled through. I let myself be drowned. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I'm losing my grip. Sliding away, slipping through my own fingers. I've come so far. I don't want to go back. Red Rory McGraith, blood-soaked and vicious. Belongs in the past. I fear his return. For you to live. I swore to reap the essence of the living. And if I succeed, I must live with my sins. If I fail, I must show them my guilt. And I don't know that I can carry the weight. Are we sure about what we are doing? Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power, purpose, she had love, and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it. are set. We're going back. Thank you. Thank me when you're back. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. 
but none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself? My father would tell me stories. In the heart of the mountains lived a mystical race who desired only peace. <laughs> Couldn't hear him now. Uh, these mystics, he said, they valued life and used gold only for their mausoleum. All creatures were accepted among them, except the men who were warned to stay away. Bellicose and greedy. Let me guess, they went anyway. Aye, uh, being bellicose, they did. And being greedy, went after the gold. The mausoleums desecrated, the mystics cursed the humans and hid themselves away. They remind me of Ceridian. Good rest her. This isn't good. I think a way to pass could be near.
fight's not easily chewed. Ask for help if you need it. Divert your focus. The veil shields this thing. Spectre heading for that corpse. Watch out! Back to possession. Away with you. I think I heard the sound of a gun coming. Call on me. According to our map, the treasure can't be far. The treasure must be around here somewhere. The mountains must be rich in ore. It looks a bit rickety. Well, it's built for a team. One man alone should be fine. Should be. Won't budge. A tangle of rope work blocks it up.
You can't climb, but I can get us up there. Pleasant way to die. Was a pleasant way to die, sir. I might help you out. Almost there. It should be free now.
These beagles look fragile. Well, they hold. Would you rather climb? If it up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. Climbed higher, or has the weather gotten colder? The nightmare is at work. She's likely using the weather in New Eden to further isolate its people. Then, once the curse is lifted, the snow will disappear. I think so. Away with you!
Pick up your sleeve. Come back here. I have to do this myself. things. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. Did you feel that? It's close. fellow to have around, you know. But your doubts, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps. Ghosts have ties. Objects through which they're bound to someone living. You are the opposite of Charles. Good at the practical, terrible at the academic. I hope it's enough. Over here.
A peaceful place. In different times. Before the nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort, and a fire, and warm you up. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Trouble ahead. Spectres are attacking the fort. Seek no ground. Take them down. Hold fire! That fellow's not dead! Who is that? Shepard, I said hold your fire! <laughs> is that the sound of a corpse coughing his gun? <laughs> Gun range, Red. Too soft. Get in its face. Living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? Name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot, me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate, folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either Priest or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Who is this Priest? May I speak with him? Him is a her. Helen Priest ain't here. She's on an excursion to the outpost, searching for supplies. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, and make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. 
Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. How holds the fort? How holds the fort? Precariously, that's how. Our strength dwindles, and we'll soon run out of powder. Praise to Williams and that other fella, and off they went scavenging for supplies. They've not yet returned. It's dangerous out there. The scavenger may easily become the carrion. Heard any good scuttle lately? The dead are coming, and you want to gossip. <laughs> I admire your sang Freud, and that's the Lord's truth, but now, sir, is not the time. Right. I'll likely be back. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Death knocks at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. More coming. Come and get your breakfast, boys. Not hard enough. Stay down! Move, Red! Expectors. The fort will run out of powder. These pests don't spring from nowhere. Get back up!
I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. If you were by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. Did we miss a few? No! Any shite stuff and up! with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Is that? Yes. Something's here. This one's not been dead long. Mm, I 
Let's hope he stays that way. Could this be what's drawn on the map? This isn't over yet. Follow my voice. Did we miss a few? Move it! A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly, I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. We found the rest of your men outside. They're gone. I'm sorry. 
we were overrun. I sent Matthews and Williams with the supplies to race for the hoist. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Impressive. You banishers are quite something. That's all her. A banisher marched with my father's infantry. Good for morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. Sympathies. this for two miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. 
that's a relief. Follow me. What are you lot waiting for? Open the gates! Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. I'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. We were ambushed. They fell. May God have mercy on their souls. No time, no way out, no hope, no way in. No time, no time at all. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McRaith. You live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work. A mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope. To gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. No waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. The people man the ramparts, ready to fight. You sound like Priest. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope and you're leading them further into the darkness. 
I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold till the last. We resist till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. No smith gathered the board and the governor let the affair flock to him. We never agreed on anything in the first place. I crossed paths with the new smith party. Thick skin did not make it. Shame. She had a proper head on her shoulders. Without her, the band will suffer. The governor is no more. His son takes charge. They rebuild as best they can. <laughs> Little Lammy Haskell. Truly. Well, better him than his father. May the vacuous peacock rest in peace. As the commanding officer, you must know all the local lumps and bumps. The lumps and bumps can smooth themselves. I have other priorities. Why did you come to New Eden, Captain? Why here? Far from the many wars we fight, you mean? I'd shot enough Frenchmen and more than enough Indians. Did no one come with you? Keep to your business, son, not mine. It's just, there's a portrait hanging on the wall. A family. I had a wife and daughter once. Once. I'll not entertain you with their story. Tell me more about yourself and your career. I did my duty and had the fortune to return alive. That's all. We who are intimate with war tell no tales. I thought that too. I was wrong. Silence allowed my ghosts to prosper. It is good to tell our stories. If ever I do tell, I'll not be telling you, son. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? If I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here. On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. We're caught between the hammer and the anvil. Could be worse. Could be underground.
banishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps, by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll ask Pennington. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft, empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it, useless really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived and then when it is gone, to be grieved. Then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love is all. Grief can hang. <laughs> and yet I cannot hold him. I cannot feel his warmth. He is there, but he is not there. That hurts. All things are fleeting. Gaze upon the ghost you love and you can't deny it. Bitter though the thought may be. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all, and then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. Much goes on around here, and you seem to know about all of it. I try, and I could do something about it if the captain was out of the way. What brought you to New Eden? I came with Sebastian. Willingly, mind you. My father was a soldier. I knew there'd be travel. Sebastian courted me for three years. I swore when we married I'd follow him to the end of the earth. And here we are. How's morale about the fort? The fort has known better days. Not many, mind. It's always been miserable. Folk deserve better. They fought so hard and lost so much. The captain must show them a future.
we should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. <laughs> 